Welcome to a little bit of unboxing time. A little bit of uh, beer mail unboxing here on Massive Beers. My name is Matt. We do beer stuff here. A lot of reviews, a lot of uh, chit chat, a little bit of uh, podcasting, and beer mails. They're, they're definitely one of them. Now, this one comes from one of the all time beer mailiest of beer mailers, because that's a word that makes sense in things, and that be Steven. There's a little bit of a little twist on this. There's actually a beer in here I purchased. Uh, Steven actually posted in our group chat. We have a group chat with a bunch of beer tubers and a couple of uh, subscribers and stuff like that. And he, he was like, oh man, he's like, Fox, Fox Farm's gonna make me go broke. And it was a uh, double barrel aged barley wine. And he's like, if anybody wants this, let me know. I can, I can definitely pick it up for you. And that he did. Um, so I think we're gonna lean towards doing this as our kind of joint barley wine thing that we typically do all of us and that kind of nerd sensey 93 lumber kind of no hype kind of group um yet to be seen that'll happen and sure it will i think we have other beers to do before that so i get a little bit of a cue going um but as per what steven does because steven is steven there's more than just that beer in here and i'm not sure what else is in here so that my friends deserves an unboxing so let's dive in this sucker Let's see what's what. I am tired. I've been working my butt off of my new job. Very positive stuff. Not, nothing negative about it. Actually, I'm really enjoying myself. Extremely busy um, to the point where it's like crazy, but I kind of thrive under those conditions. So it's been very, very fun. Um, and uh, yeah, so I don't get I don't get back here as much. You know, if I get any spare time, it's hanging out with the kiddo and. So if he's in bed, which is right now, typically it's it's me uh, hanging out and doing the shed stuff. Because the shed stuff needs to get done sooner rather than later. So I'm assuming that be that. So this is the beer we all ended up getting here. Oh, I forgot my little light. So this is the one we ended up getting. It's Requiem. Uh, it's a double barrel barley wine. It's a cognac and bourbon barrel aged barley wine from Fox Farm Brewing. Awesome with the linen label. Batch number one of 2022. And that pretty much it. Yeah. Can't wait to dive in this sucker. It's dark. So yeah, that looks uh, immensely, immensely, immensely delicious. Oh, a little, little tube, little tube. A little bit of comments from Will. What's going on, homie? He said, you earned a brew. That I did. I'm drinking one right now. A little bit of other half hazy. Can't, uh... I usually don't buy double IPAs, but I was like, I don't want a double IPA. So I bought a four pack of, uh... Of this. All mosaic everything. Yeah. Very good. Treat yourself. Treat yourself. So we have that one. It looks like we got one, two, three, three cans. This be, oh, spyglass. Okay, I've had some spyglass stuff. I think I might have got one from Steven, but most of it has been from Endured Sense, guys. This is a double IPA called called Rotation, Recurring, Recursion. I don't know. Yeah. Anyway, it's double IPA, eight point three percent. This label looks like it was made on a bubble jet printer. It is, uh, oh, it's got a little bit of time on it. A little bit of time on it, two months. Um, and it says, find your way home on the bottom there. I, I forgot to put my little light thing. Actually, why don't I just put my little light thing on now? I don't know why I'm like acting like I can't just turn it on. So I have this little thing on a slider like right here. And I go like that. And then there's light. It's science. And then when I go like this, you guys can read what's going on. So there you go. Double IPA spyglass, not too shabby. And then we got a little, a little, a little sack of two jammers here. Short cans. Short cans by that I mean 12 ounces. Uh, Will's asking. He's like visited Ale Works in Williamsburg. Decent stuff. I will have to get some. Why? Oh, mystery beers, I think. At least one mystery beer. Priority Mail Express. Thank you very much. Cheated. Look at the bottom. Nothing there, so I'm not didn't really cheat. And then a non-mystery beer. Fat Orange Cat Jalapeno Jack Jalapeno Ale. 
I am going to let you in on a secret. I have yet to have a beer with jalapeno in it that tasted good. I've had ones that were interesting, but one that was like, oh my god, that's absolutely fantastic. But I am always down. So it's 5% alcohol by volume. I'm assuming it's it's like a jalapeno like pilsner or something like that, or maybe a Blondale or something like that. But it's a really cool label. So there you go. Cool little unboxing. Yeah, a little bit of Fox Farm Barrel Age monstrosities. Spyglass hazies. Mystery, mystery. Who who knows? A little fat orange cat, a little jalapeno up in this piece, son. I think that, I know that's it. I'm just saying. I think that's it for me. I'm just going to do a quick unboxing. Throw that over there. And uh, say thank you very much for sending this off, Steven. Thank you for the extra jammers. And like I said, um, I'm almost positive this uh, Fox Farm is going to be a joint venture between us and a bunch of the beer tuber guys that tend to do those kind of joint things. So keep an eye out for that. So there you go. A little unboxing the books. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Hopefully you're enjoying your night. I'm off to play some video games. Full disclosure, I'm replaying all Metal Gear Solid right now. Not the old ones from this. Just Solid. I played Metal Gear Solid 1 uh, via the Dolphin emulator for um, GameCube. So it was in HD. It was quite nice, actually. I really did enjoy it. I played Metal Gear Solid 2 on PC. The PC port with like a bunch of like upgrades in 21 by 9 bonkers good Metal Gear Solid 3 I played on a PlayStation 3 emulator on my computer in 21 9 at 4k son and it was crazy and now I'm playing Guns of the Patriots on the same emulator but 16 9 but again at 4k it's pretty awesome having a blast I'm gonna go do that now so